hello from day seven here in Riva of Hall City's warm weather training camp on the outskirts of Istanbul and right by the Black Sea and it is certainly warm weather. If the first day was anything but warm weather because of the rain we had, that we've, they've certainly made up for it in the last few days because it has been sweltering, absolutely baking. The players have had two sessions again today, slightly um, shorter session this evening. They had a long session in the morning, which is customary now. Um, a good couple of hours and then they've they've had what another hour or so hour and a quarter this afternoon um which was good fun to watch L lot, a really interesting drill they did on the back of the wheelbarrow game yesterday where, where balls were flying in from both sides and the players were on different teams and having to find different ways of scoring goals there's some good shots some good misses um in amongst it the, i guess the big news to come to really is that matt ingram um, goalkeeper matt ingram the league one winning goalkeeper matt ingram has left camp and is heading back to England, as I understand it, to join Oxford United. Des Buckingham side obviously won the playoff final at Wembley, beating Bolton Wanderers. Um, so they will be in the Championship. It's a permanent deal. Matt has been here since 2009, played over 100 times. 2019, I should say. Um, he's played over 100 times, 30 clean sheets. And in that time, obviously, Matt was a hugely pivotal figure in City, getting promotion from League One, winning the first league title in years. Um, he was hugely important, but obviously last year it wasn't great for him under Liam Rossini. He only played 10 times. His last appearance, I think, came in the defeat at Sheffield Wednesday on New Year's Day. Ryan Allsop was the number one. Um, I think it was perhaps telling on Saturday here that against Kassim Parza that, um, that Matt wasn't involved. Uh, Ivor Pandor played the first half. Uh, Harvey Cartwright played the second. Timothy Lotatala hasn't featured in training at the minute because He's got a he's got a bit of a knock. Um, Owen Foster's been promoted up from the under 21s. He's been training with the first team, um, and that will continue in Matt's absence. So I think he's the player that goes with the, the, the best wishes of, of everybody at the football club because he's been a, a, a loyal servant. He's well respected in the dressing room uh, and and around the football club, and he will be sorely missed. And as I say, we shouldn't forget the his contribution in in, in the League One title winning season. Um, what else? Say double session today. That will be the same again tomorrow. We are expecting uh, the game on Thursday to be confirmed. I hope so because you know there's, there is a press conference scheduled for Wednesday uh, with Ajun, with Tan, with the manager, and a, possibly a player as well. So that would be a bit awkward if we were conducting a press conference without naming the the opponent. Although it is a showpiece, a, a showpiece game, as Ajun said himself a few weeks ago. So it probably doesn't take a Miss Marple to work out who that opponent will be. We're just, I think, we're just waiting on confirmation of the venue. Um, one of the funny moment. Well, it was for me. I was sat typing um, something, typing out a story on my phone during session, during a training session, and all of a sudden, ball started raining in on me. So, I won't take it personally. But what I would say, lads, is um, improve your shooting because Giles Coyle Smith, I'm a big target, and you missed. How did you miss? Uh, but that that was comical, and that was a, that was a nice nice little moment just before training finished. So um, that's it from here at Reva for day seven. The trip's hoofing on a little bit. Wednesday tomorrow, and then game on Thursday. And before we know it, we'll be heading back to England. I know the fans, um, the, the lucky fans that are coming out for their little three day holiday, also are, are due to arrive in Istanbul from Manchester later tonight. Um, and they've got some things planned in the run up to the game on Thursday. Uh, I think it's going to be an open training session here on Friday. Um, and then we all trudge back to, from what I gather, a fairly grey and dull England on Saturday.